Praise God. Welcome to Holy Ghost School, Judgment and Transparency Ministry. My name is Ezra I'm, I'm here to address a topic called Holy Ghost School. You know, most times when people hear this language, Holy Ghost School, they will be like, is there any institution that is called Holy Ghost School? Where is it located? How do we uh, know the principle of school? So we are going to look into all those things to be able to understand what Holy Ghost School is all about. So first of all, I would like to define Holy Ghost School as a school in the spirit whereby one is directed and being led by the Spirit of God. A school where the Spirit of God is the sole teacher, is the sole director, is it the principal of that school. Now, if you go to the book of um, book of Romans 8 verse 14, the Bible says that those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. What God actually wants is not servant. What God actually wants is friends, his sons. You know, he came to restore back the lost tribe of Israelite. And he said to the people of Israelite, You are my choosing people, you are my children. I will be a God unto you people. So what God is looking for is sons and daughters. Jesus came to restore back the sons and daughters of God to himself. That's why the Bible says we are children begotten not of the will of man, but of the will of God. So the question is this: how can God become your father? Or how can God be your father? and yet you don't know God. You can actually have a relationship with someone you don't know. I know my father. I understand my father. I talk with my father. So the question is this, God being our father, God being our, our father, we being the sons and daughters of God, how can we know him? That's where the Holy Ghost school comes in. That's where the journey of the Spirit of God comes in. Because you cannot actually know God without the Spirit of God. Now, if you go to the book of uh, 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 Corinthians, if you go to the book of Corinthians, Bible said there in the first Corinthians 2, 11, let's open the Bible and you see what the Bible said here. Bible, Bible is very, very clear that you can actually understand who God is except you have his spirit upon you you have his spirit upon you now if you go to the book of uh, uh corinthians uh uh first corinthians 2 verse 11 bible said for what man knows the things of man except the spirit of man which is in him even so the things of god knows no man but the spirit of god so now it is only the spirit of god that understands god that knows god and he is the only one that can communicate who god is to us now like i said before our journey with the lord is a journey of relationship our walk with god is a walk of relating with him he called us his son bible said god is our father that's why jesus when he was teaching them on how to pray he said if you want to pray pray like this our father in heaven now if god is your father do you know your father do you understand your father now for you to be able to understand and know your father and relate with him you need the spirit of the father who will then now teach you who the father is he will then now teach you who the son of god is because without the Spirit of God, you cannot understand God, you cannot understand the Son, you cannot either understand the Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible said in the book of in the book of Matthew, Matthew 16 from verse uh, 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 13 to 20. If you read that place, when Jesus asked them, "Who do men say I am?" they began to say, "Prophet, this says you are this. They said you are that. They said you are this. They said you are that." But he asked them a very important question. Who do you say I am? Now, for you to be able to give a clear definition of who God is, because if you can't understand or know who God is, you can't actually relate with him. For you to know who he is so that you can be able to relate with him, you need the spirit of God. When Peter said, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God, what did Jesus say? Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. That's why Holy Ghost is a school in the spirit where the spirit of God lead and direct you, teaching you about God himself because nobody can teach you about God. So Holy Ghost School is a school whereby the Spirit of God teach you about God. That is what we have today and I pray that the Lord will help you to understand. So if you go in you can study these places in the Bible you can read the book of Matthew 16 verse from verse 13 to 20 you understand it more and you can supplement that by reading the book of Romans 8 verse 14 and the book of 1 Corinthians 2 verse 11 that is where the explanation of the Holy Ghost school comes about. Thank you.